Chapter 27 The Return of Dick Piccolo After Brad and Justine disappeared behind Dorian King's door, Richard and Chuck looked at each other. Neither knew what to make of what just happened, much less what to even say. Um, Chuck fumbled, stepping over to Richard's desk while waving a finger in the air. You saw that, right? Of course, Richard saw it. He also saw the dick Chuck was so eagerly grinding up against. Richard's dick. A mutant monster cock that had developed its own personality, complete with unique compulsions and desires. Desires that had apparently led Richard's dick right into the crotch of Justine Cox. At first, Richard had thought his anxiety had peaked, but then he found himself jealous of both Brad and Chuck for the attention Justine had shown them. The fact that it was Richard's own penis latched onto Justine had a strange way of nullifying his overactive emotions. Listen, buddy, about earlier downstairs, Chuck said. Richard's eyes dropped to the desk. He couldn't look at Chuck, not for what he had to say next. He mumbled, My penis fell off. Chuck wasn't sure he heard Richard correctly. I'm sorry, what? Come again? Richard knew he had to tell someone, and if anyone deserved an explanation, it was Chuck. If anyone had the wherewithal to actually help Richard through his inexplicable de-dicking, and the monster cock and nips and sips and now Justine, it had to be Chuck. Richard set his jaw and looked up, meeting Chuck's confused gaze. Chuck, it fell off. Before Chuck could process what Richard was trying to tell him, Lorraine Dillon pushed into the executive suite. Her eyes were bright and alert, and eager? Is she in with Dorian? Lorraine asked, holding her office door open. Um, Justine, Lorraine clarified. She's in with Dorian? Richard nodded. Just now, with, with Brad. Lorraine stared off into the distance, mulling something over. She definitely looked eager, distracted. Slowly, her eyes gravitated to Chuck. Who the hell is this? Richard and Chuck exchanged a quick glance. Where was her head at? Had she seen Justine tease Brad before kissing Chuck? Worse, had she seen the bulge? Um, this is Chuck, Richard said. The mail clerk you asked to see? Chuck gave a small wave and an awkward smile. I I was the one who delivered the letter to the Green campaign yesterday. Recognition flashed in Lorraine's eyes, and her whole demeanor shifted as if she just remembered she had something important to do. She crooked a finger at Chuck. Right, get in here. I want you to tell me everything that happened after Justine gave you that letter. Chuck followed the COO into her executive office, giving Richard one last, well, here we go, shrug before the door closed. And then Richard was alone with nothing but his thoughts. Dickless and alone. With his dismembered member attached to its new best friend a few feet away in the CEO's office. And what in the hell was up with Lorraine's forensic reconstruction of that damn letter? Hey, Richard. He jumped in his chair, startled by the unexpected voice. Tess stood at the entrance of the executive suite, holding a small object in her hands. Richard stood up quickly. Tess, why are you... She held up her hand. I... I'm sorry. I I didn't mean to surprise you. Brad called and told me what you were doing and that the two of you, you, you know, made up. Richard choked. He said, uh, that? And listen, we both said some things this morning, some harsh things, but like, you know, things that friends should 
I don't know. We should be able to say those things to each other, right? We need to be able to say those things. Tess had never once been to the Vector Defense campus. Richard didn't even know how she got into the building without security calling up to him. Uh, Tess, what I'm trying to say is, well, if you can do this, then I don't know, maybe you're right, she said. Maybe, maybe there is something more for me than nips and sips. Maybe, maybe I do deserve something better. She lifted her head, giving Richard a small, sweet smile. Hey, uh... Richard swallowed and shifted awkwardly. What is it exactly uh, that I'm doing? Tess extended her arm, offering a small black box to Richard. His stomach folded in on itself when he recognized the textured surface of the hard case. You're bringing Dick Piccolo back, Tess said. At this idiotic rally of all places, Jesus, I would never have the balls for that. Richard felt woozy. He definitely didn't have the balls for it. Brad said you needed me to bring you a flute, Tess continued. I think this is the one you used to beatbox with, right? Right. That. Dick Piccolo, beatbox and flautist virtuoso. The surprise opening act for gubernatorial candidate and gun fetishist Nicholas Green. And to complete Richard's unmitigated shaming, Brad had executed an apex bully power move by having the girl Richard was hopelessly infatuated with hand deliver his flute. He accepted the hard case, smiling weakly. Oh, wow. That's, uh, great.